So, good morning, Alex, uh, from Athens to St. Petersburg. How is uh, the situation over there? Uh, the situation is good. I mean, the team's in good spirits. Um, everybody, most of the, all the guys have recovered, and um, we've been practicing hard for about a couple of days for, or a week or so. So, we're just excited to be ready to play some games again. Um, uh, how is the team affected uh, from the fact that uh, due to COVID uh, situation and COVID cases, uh, you hadn't played a game for almost three weeks. Uh, you just played a few days ago, but uh, it was a hard period of time. It was tough because, uh, I mean, probably like about half our team got it. You know, we had an outbreak, but um, the guys that were negative, we were still practicing. Um, once everybody got back, we started practicing harder and harder, and then we were ready to play a game, and then one of the games got canceled because the other team had it. But we've been good, we've been in good spirits. Coach has been doing, coach staff been doing a great job keeping us keeping our mind focused, and we've just been uh, going hard at each other. I guess after uh, being out for nearly three weeks concerning uh, the games, um, the key thing for uh, Zenit uh, team is the rhythm. Yeah, um, the rhythm. I mean, so we played um, we played Astana the other week, so, I mean, a couple of days ago, so our rhythm was kind of, kind of good there but we've been practicing the rhythm's been great in practice and we, we got a lot of great guys on this team that are really motivated and really hungry so um i think our rhythm's gonna be good once we start playing uh yearly games again so i think everybody's everybody's in good spirits it is obvious that uh, you are not playing as a rookie in euroleague even though you are uh how do you see you know the level of the competition the comparing comparing also uh, from last year when you played in Euro Cup and comparing also to of, uh, the level of the NBA? Um, Euro League is one of the top competitions in the world. Um, it's got a lot of great players. Each game is hard and uh, 40 minutes, you know what I mean? You got to be from the beginning. Um, there's a lot of great players, a lot of great coaches. Um, so it's, it's just as talented as people in the NBA. Um, so... Every game is a war, and you got to be focused. You got to play your A game. So that's what we've been trying to be doing. That's why I've been trying to do it. Uh, just play hard when I'm out there and um, just try to produce. Last week, you missed the chance to meet with um, August uh, by, oh, yeah. by missing the game um, against Panathinaikos. Uh, this week, you have the chance to meet with uh, Aaron Harrison, uh, your two guys from, uh, from Istanbul last year. Yeah, I know. I, I still talk to all of them guys all the time. You know, I talked to ZA once I found out they had a COVID test just to make sure they were he was okay and make sure, like, the whole team was okay because I know we went through that situation before, so I know how frustrating and how tough it could be. And then with Aaron coming, I'm excited about that. You know, I played college with Aaron for a couple of years, um, so it would be good to see one of my brothers and one of my friends that I've, I've known for a long time, you know. So it's always good catching up with guys you played with in the past. Speaking about college, uh, you were teammate with uh, some great NBA players uh, right now, like Devin Booker, like Jamal Murray, and like Cat. Uh, mm -hmm. Who uh, from these guys do you feel that will make the best career in the NBA? Um, there's, there's, there's so many tough guys to name. They're all good. Like Carl's playing great. Devin's playing great. Uh, Willie's playing great. Julius has been playing good too. You know, so. I think everybody's got their own strengths that they go play to. And I, I think the sky's the limit for all of them. From these three guys uh, that I mentioned, and also the two guys that you played uh, with uh, uh, in uh, Philadelphia, Joel Embiid, and uh, Indiana, mm -hmm. like Paul George. Uh, yeah. Is, uh, is uh, someone of them better than the Greek freak? <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't say that. I mean, Giannis MVP for a reason. You know, he's so dominant, so 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 big and skilled, and he's hard to stop when he's going attacking downhill. So there's a reason why he won MVP, and he rightfully deserves it.